The Prophet says, alayhi salatu wasalam, he is not from us, laysa minna, who turns a wife against her husband. Wow, we do this all the time. My wife goes to my daughter and says, look at your house. Why doesn't your husband buy you new furniture? Why doesn't your husband take you on vacation? Why doesn't your husband give you monthly allowance? Why do... And then my daughter hears this, stores it in the hard disk. If it were in the RAM, no problem. She sleeps and wakes up, it's a new day. But she stores it in the hard disk. No antivirus. And when the husband comes, Assalamu alaikum, my love, how was your day? Why don't you bring me new furniture? Why don't you buy me new dresses? Why don't you take me out? And division and disunity takes place. The Prophet says, alayhi salatu wasalam, laysa minna man khabbaba mra'atan ala zawjiha. A good real parent, when his daughter comes and says, my husband did this, did that, did this, did that, would tell her, go back to your home, kiss your husband's hand, ask for his forgiveness. Yes, but he's the wrongdoer. Nevertheless, your marriage is more important than your feelings because shaitan utilizes this in seconds. And I've seen this. Unfortunately, 99.9% .9 parents don't do this. Did he do that? The son of a so-and-so. Stay by Allah. Your fingernail is more valuable than 10 like him. If he divorces you, I will marry you to the best of men. That was 15 years ago when she's still in his home. Divorced. So this is an issue of bringing people together, not the, uh, uh, um, uh, dividing them and having disunity in our homes.